Hey guys, it's Nicole, and for this week's nail art, I decided to do some like sheer spider webs that are matte with hollow spiders on top, as well as some black holographic glitter. So this is all freehand, and I started off with Madame Glam's Perfect Black, and I also used this sheer tint black gel. So I started off with three coats of each color. I kept it really thin on the sheer coat, so it would still be pretty see-through. Oh, translucent and so I did the sheer on my middle two nails and then black on the other three and I mean nothing complicated here I just cleaned up with a cleanup brush as I went and then I cured and then I'm taking hollow as the new black and I applied that into the inhibition layer of the gel polish on the black nails being careful not to get any glitter into the two sheer nails and then dusted off the excess and then I'm taking a mission control which I'm just applying on top of the sheer nails and I started from the inside corners and then pulled lines out to start the um, I guess just the formation of the spider web and then I just connected the lines with these little U shapes just to connect those big base lines I really don't know how to describe this guys like <laughs> but you can see what's happening I mean they're making a spider web pretty straightforward and then once that was cured, I did the same thing on the other nail, starting off with a long striping brush and then I switched to a shorter one to connect the details just so I had a little bit more precision and so it was easier to do the longer lines with the longer brush. So for this one, I had a lot of extra gel polish at the bottom of art gel and so I just kind of dipped back into it and went back to finish the use because most of the time you're not going to need to go and grab extra polish for these little tiny little shapes. So. That's how I did this here. You can see, you know, exactly how I did it. And I mean, you can play with it for a while because it's not going to move too much on you, but you don't want to play with it for too long. And then once I was cured, I'm taking flawless finish as well as this velvet matte top coat from Enel Couture. And I applied the regular top coat over the glitter and I ended up doing two coats just so it wasn't tacky. And then I put the matte top coat over the middle two nails and this is a no wipe top coat. Which, I mean, isn't required, but it kind of helps you can see the mat as soon as you pull it out of the light. And so once I cured that layer of top coat, I removed the tacky layer from the glitter nails. And then I took some Mission Control for the spider. Normally I would use a no-wipe top coat, but Mission Control dries without a tacky finish, so I can just use that gel instead. So I just made one little spider on each nail, just made a circle, pulled out eight little legs, and then kind of did the little bend in the leg. So pretty quick, pretty easy. And then once I finished those, I cured that for 30 seconds as well. And I'm taking a hollow hoop by Twinkle T on a silicone applicator tool just to apply the hollow powder. And this will stick a little bit to the rest of the nail. But since we did a matte finish, that does help it not stick as much. So I dusted off what I could. And then I took a no wipe top coat and I just went over the spider's body and then the leg. So anything you want the hollow powder to stick to, make sure you cover that. So it'll stay and hold the hollow powder in place. And then once that was cured, I used some rubbing alcohol to remove the excess powder and the tacky layer. And that's it. That's how I created this nail art look. Thanks so much for watching, and I will leave links in the description box below if you're interested. Bye, guys!